Hello and welcome to the NHL Best Bets. Yesterday there were only two games in playoffs. Um, let's go through our picks first. Um, here we concentrated on total betting this time. Um, one game was um, correct. Nashville, Carolina, four goals during the regular time, 2-2 um, game and then in overtime Carolina took a 3-2 victory and uh, also lead the a series with same numbers. And then in uh, Montreal home team um, played uh, maybe as expected um, since start of the season. Couldn't score a single goal. Toronto won 4-1, 4-0 and uh, it was unfortunately under. Uh, maybe a few chances for home team to score but uh, Mr. Campbell in Toronto's goal continued what he has been doing so many times during the regular season so he Delivered good performance and victory for the visitors. Toronto takes uh, took a 3-1 lead um, and that's uh, quite a convincing situation for them to proceed to the next round. Tommy, what's your take? Uh, yeah, a little bit uh, deficit there for minus 18. So not the best, uh, best selection this time, but the games went pretty much as we did expect. Uh, 60 shots in that Montreal Toronto game so could have been over as well we forgot that uh, Toronto now actually has a proper goaltender and they are playing pretty well in the defense as well so they were able to keep Montreal out of a great chances and those chances that Montreal got it was then uh, Jack Campbell to to uh, to take the saves that were needed so very convincing win from Toronto they managed to score four goals which is always good in a playoff game so a good game from Toronto a little bit bad for us that Montreal couldn't uh, find their second gear anymore so like we mentioned yesterday probably Montreal has shown what they have that's it Toronto still has room for improvement so Toronto is a uh, pretty clear favorite I think it was somewhere more than 80% now for them to win when the series is 1-3. to three. Um, And in Carolina uh, against Nashville, the game turned into a defensive battle, just as we expected. There were a couple of surprise guys scoring those two goals. Uh, uh, Ned Cass for, uh, for Carolina and uh, Trenin for Nashville. Trenin especially, not often seen in the goal scoring sheet. So uh, a good game from the young Russian there. Uh, very defensive game, good goaltending. This is a playoff battle, then. This is probably the most probable score going forward in this series. Maybe one game or two games left, maximum. But we'll see which team will find the way to win these overtime games. Now, Nashville took two, then it was Carolina's turn. So let's see how the next one goes. Very good playoff hockey in this game. Yeah, um, these series um, were predicted before the playoff started um, so that most probable outcome in Carolina and Nashville is Carolina to win in five games. Um, now it's uh, five games played and uh, they are leading 3-2 so maybe they can um, do it uh, the second most probable outcome that is win in six games. Uh, um, then uh, in Toronto Montreal series um, our prediction was uh, Toronto to win in uh, five and uh, that looks quite um, good um, prediction right now because they are leading three to one um, after four games and uh, playing the fifth one um, at home yeah it's always difficult to uh to end the series as we uh, we have seen so let's see if Mon uh, toronto can cut it at home or do they have to still uh, take a longer route and go back to montreal let's take a quick look of the next picks um, and then we can analyze a bit further to probabilities in this series. Um, um, here you can see the picks for tonight. Uh, Pittsburgh uh, goes to Long Island, um, Nassau Coliseum, and um, they have a must win. Um, New York Islanders is leading 3-2. to two. If they win, uh, uh, they are going to the second round against Boston. If Pittsburgh wins, there will be uh, game seven um, in Pittsburgh um, after a few days. Islanders is a um, home team um, and in this uh, quite um, even matchup um, coin flip game uh, they have um, better odds available here plus uh, 100 and uh, that's something that uh, provides value for betters right now. 
And then another game, Vegas uh, had first set ball for the uh, series um, against Minnesota. A few nights ago, they couldn't um, convert that one. Now they go to St. Paul and have a second chance. They are still leading 3-2. Uh, to two. Uh, So Minnesota has another must-win situation. Um, they are playing at home and uh, they have pretty good um, odds, uh, plus 129. Uh, however, they haven't uh, been able to win at home in this playoff series against um, uh, Golden Knights uh, so far. Um, they lost 5-2 and 4-0, quite clear games uh, compared to those that, that have been played in Vegas. But in a regular season, Minnesota was a pretty good um, team at home. They faced... Uh, the Golden Knights four times and won three out of those. So uh, there is um, still an opportunity to uh, perform a bit better and um, take uh, this series to the game seven as well. Yeah, let's continue with the Minnesota Wild Vegas series because it is a very interesting thing that now Vegas was a lot better team at least in the in on the ice in the last game that they now lost two to four um, at home to Minnesota. Minnesota only shot uh, 14 times on goal. They barely got any chances, but they converted with a rate that we haven't yet seen in this series. So um, this was maybe a little bit of a lucky bounce for Minnesota, but I'm sure that they will take it. And at home, they should be playing a little bit better than we've seen before. Now it is another must win for Wild. Uh, they have nothing to lose. Vegas, of course, tries to bounce back from that heartbreaking loss they had at home. But um, if they play the way they did, they are probably going to win it. But who knows? Um, it, is a, it is a little bit mentally better place for Minnesota to go and win this game as well as now they have shown that they are capable of matching the uh, the offensive and the defensive talent of Vegas. So much closer series than we probably uh, would have expected. Uh, let's hope that Minnesota takes it all the way to seventh game and we get this uh, uh, legendary series ongoing. Um, in the simulations, we have Minnesota for about 53% and with the odds like we saw plus 129 massive uh, massive value for Minnesota. Um, then the other game that we have predicted Penguins to be better in this series. New York Islanders have taken those important overtime wins. Last time around it was pretty much due to the goaltending errors of Penguins that cost them the game. Penguins were more active and would have maybe deserved a victory, but this is hockey, so uh, there is no style points given. Um, Islanders get to play at home now. They haven't been as good as at home in this series as we would have expected, but I do think that now when they have the chance to stay out of this Game 7 in Pittsburgh, they will do whatever it takes to win this game at home and uh, send Penguins packing again. Uh, the odds plus 100 are pretty nice. We do have 53% for New York Islanders. It is a coin flip of a game. Penguins still, I think, a little bit better team if you take a look at the individuals and the skill level. But New York Islanders play together a little bit better. They are much more like a playoff-oriented team with their defense. And now Sorokin in goal uh, has been magnificent so far. So a very tough break for Penguins to get through this. But there is a chance we do still root for New York Islanders. Um, this um, Vegas uh, Minnesota series was predicted to go to game seven and Vegas to win it there. That was the highest probability based on our simulations before the season, uh, series started. Uh, and uh, if uh, Minnesota wins now and equalize the series to 3 3, Vegas is still favorite based on um, these historical numbers because uh, uh, if in the game, 3-3 series, you win the game six at home, you have only 42% chance to, to win the whole series, while the uh, road team that, that lost game six and then are going to play at home, the last one, they have a 58% chance based on a historical uh, track record of uh, playoffs. Yeah, that does make sense, especially now when uh, when it's about Vegas and you get to play, uh, Vegas gets to play in front of their home home crowd. I do think that game seven, uh, however unpredictable those always are, 
it's likely to turn for Vegas's favor. So uh, let's see if we even get that far, but let's hope so. And then um, this other game, uh, um, Islanders, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, when uh, Islanders won the uh, fourth game and uh, took a uh, 3-1 lead, no, sorry, third, uh, fifth game and took a uh, 3-2 lead, uh, um, that meant that they have a 75% uh, chance to proceed forward and uh, and then uh, if Minnesota wins now and equalize it to 3-3, then they have a 58% chance. So um, let's see how that goes and uh, and we'll see what kind of um, chances uh, Pittsburgh have to, to equalize and um, then have a this better position for the final game. Yeah, it's interesting in that case. Uh, it would be, it would make sense that Penguins have the upper hand going to game seven in Pittsburgh, uh, the best regular season team at home, the Penguins. Uh, but now in this series, they've lost twice in the overtime for New York Islanders already at home. So even if this game would go to the seventh game to Pittsburgh, maybe Islanders would have the uh, upper hand thinking that, okay, we already beat Pittsburgh twice uh, in their home eyes. So uh, it's all a coin flip, I think. These are so tight games that maybe the historical uh, statistics are out of the window in this uh, this pair especially. Uh, third game that is played uh, tonight is the Florida State Championship between uh, Panthers and Lightning. Uh, our prediction before the season uh, series started uh, was that uh, Tampa will take this series in six games. Uh, now it's game six in Tampa. They are leading three to two, so um, they are also no, they have also higher probability to win this game based on simulation. So it looks like um, our prediction is um, pretty strong um, at this stage. Yeah, and also the simulation uh, simulation shows that they, it is at least consistent. So it is still rooting for Tampa Bay to win this game. Although with these odds now, Tampa only receives some minus 155 uh, odds. So uh, not worth betting there. Florida Panthers has the side value in our simulations for uh, 48%. The odds are around 130 uh, plus 130. So the value is for Florida Panthers, but the uh, money line would go to Tampa Bay Lightning. And Tampa is, like we keep repeating, is still a better team overall than the Florida Panthers are. Yeah, that's true. And uh, uh, Florida is uh, most probably uh, playing the hot hand in the goal. Uh, Mr. Knight, who made his playoff debut, debut last game and uh, was uh, pretty good um, compared to the $10 million man and Bobrovsky, who is now in popcorn section. Yeah, these are fantastic stories that are building in, uh, within the playoffs always. Uh, someone gets hurt or does not perform the way uh, is expected and there is a young guy coming up or not necessarily even a young guy, can be an older guy as well, but still somebody uh, somebody gets the chance and uses it and it's a fantastic story of uh, playoff hockey. Let's see how these three games um, turn out tonight. Um, there might be only three games, uh, three teams um, playing uh, tomorrow from these pairs and uh, three other game teams uh, going to fishing. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow and um, then we know a bit more. See you tomorrow.